This is for heaven. Um... What it is, what's up? Got your video in the cut. Um, I don't know if you guys care about face cam at all. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of get this one wrapped up pretty quickly. And, uh, really, I mean, I, I just don't, I don't, there's much value in the face cam. This is a pretty, um, a, a bridge chapter, I guess I would say. There's not, in and of itself, I think, a ton of substance. Uh, it does throw up some pretty interesting ideas going forward. Really, I, I think there's really one pieces I really want to speak about. But we'll kind of go through the beginning of it. Just try to summarize real quickly. So we're kind of doing the felt. I actually haven't read any manga in this series since basically what would have been a chapter before this, almost two chapters ago. Uh, the new chapter will come out tomorrow, so I kind of want to catch up on this one. And I'm kind of hazy on kind of what happened, but for the most part, as I recall, Code uh, forced... Uh, a motto to remove his limiters. Uh, he essentially went too far when it came to Damon and Ida. Barely escaped with his life. Left with the grunt that knew of Amato's dungeon or whatever the hell you call it. And now, as I recall, Amato is basically able to live by bartering some kind of relationship with Kawaki. Uh, Kawaki with uh, what's her name uh, Ida so this is pretty much the fallout of those series of events so you come here and then Kawaki's sternly talking to Shikamaru Shikamaru gets a call from Amato essentially saying hey I have basically worked out a partnership with Ida and Damon we will be banging together against uh, Code. And that's that. You really have no option with it. Uh, you need to prepare some kind of rendezvous immediately. Uh, get a room set up, blah, 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 blah. She's part of the team now. It really doesn't matter what else the rest of us want. If you think about it, with Damon basically being a clear step above Code, who I believe had his limiters off when... Damon uh, finessed him, essentially. With that being the case, Damon and Ida and her pretty much, I think I forgot she called it omniscient, omnipresent, whatever activity uh, her ability is, they're essentially now above the remainder of Konoha. Uh, the two strongest ninjas were Naruto and Sasuke, who were probably stronger than either, although neither knew of their abilities and would not have known about those abilities without i guess speaking to code or a motto so they probably would have got messed up by those two anyway they're, they're hacks characters more than they're strong characters in my opinion but hats characters and strong is pretty much synonymous at this point in this universe so you know it is what it is and as you can see i mean multiple times damon's been referred to as being stronger than code even though code strength wise would appear to be uh, on a different level at this point i think uh shikamaru has been left with a lot of different thoughts uh the motives of amato were pretty much would open up this chapter uh what he may be planning to do with Co uh, ida and damon will matter a lot as well and evaluating those motives he has to balance together while having code loom over large and of course code his own motives so he calls together uh, Naruto and Team 7, the new Team 7, the, got, the getting Team 7. Um, and they all leave out a pretty touching moment between Naruto and uh, Hinata Hyuga, or Boruto and Hinata Hyuga. A little bit of conversation with Momoshiki, who is still active and plotting uh, for Boruto's booty hole. And we go from that to Boruto just trying to do his best to, in Naruto fashion, uh, put down Momoshiki. So the most important part of this, I think, uh, long term, is this. So Cole, with his new uh, powers, essentially, is able to use a shit ton of claws now. He's able to make a shit ton of claws. So in knowing that, more than likely, the Otsutsuki possess 
uh, Konoha Ninjas will one day come out there to this Tentel's hideout, he has decided to somehow basically break up the Tentel's. Uh, he's used his claw marks to literally section them off into different chakras and make them more useful. Molding clay is how he put it. And it's pretty much he's made a what appeared to be a, a force of little tentails. They have eyes, one eye. And that's honestly, I think it's a pretty cool design. I will say that the design for these things, even though like the conceptually is nothing new, uh, creating a band of things from a larger entity in this universe. But I think the design is pretty cool. Structurally, I mean, I don't, I mean, I guess it's like even a smaller version of a, uh, when the nine bijus, because basically the nine bijus formed together make the ten tails. So you theoretically should be able to form, I would guess, multiple ten tails or multiple uh, one through nine tails from any given ten tails. However, it seems they've been through this molding process he's mentioned, made it something even smaller and, uh, even I, I don't know like they definitely don't resemble to me what you traditionally thought of the one through nine tailed beasts what they look like but they are sentient some way it appears although it's clear that by some measure code appears to have them under control um i don't know if though if, see he has his eye covered I'm not sure if, because this is this would be his left eye he has covered, and the eye that appears is the left eye. So I would guess, and that it didn't have a left eye before. What I'm guessing is happening is he can use them almost like basically the uh, the stage of sit or the sits paths, like the technique that Obito used and Pain used uh, in making hosts out of bodies. In essence, it seems like he has the capacity between his claw marks and maybe his overwhelming chakra to control the sections of the tailed beast and make them basically slaves. In terms of power, which I think it's probably the thing most people would wonder, what are these power-wise? Who knows? Just so many of them that... You know, if you could have basically a, I don't know how the, the Jinchuriki, or the, the Jinchuriki, the Tailed Beast that were formed of the Jinchuriki scale to the Ten Tails itself, obviously it's one through nine in strength. I think Kurama was, he had some feats of helping Naruto fight the Tailed Beast in parts, but was still a pretty far cry from the Ten Tails itself. These things obviously will probably have significantly less chakra than even the one tails, but if you could have a more wieldy version of a tailed beast, like basically a humanoid version of it that has the capacity to teleport now as they do from the claw marks. That's interesting. He basically has an army that would co collectively be the strength of the ten tails, and they're all controllable by him. Now, I'm not sure if he can control multiple at once. We don't know that quite yet, but he does appear to be able to control at least one. So, he's got something going on there. It's, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, I don't really think I have much more to say. I don't know if we going nine minutes. It's really about it for me. Um, this has been an interesting chapter. I've thrown some, some interesting ideas. Uh, I mean, I'm sure everybody wants to know how it code uh, amass his, his army together. Or not his army, but necessarily... You know, get his power back up after being removed from his teammates, quote unquote. I think this is an interesting idea that the original, relatively original, relatively, uh, of helping this guy kind of get back on his feet. So we have basically three warring forces. I say three just because at any point, Amato may figure out that he can control 
either Kawaki, you could control maybe Ida by some magic. I'm not sure, but the idea is this guy at any point can figure out someone to maybe controls other people. And if he can do that, like let's say he can get Kawaki, Ida, and Damon. I don't even know if it's theoretically. I think it might be a fact. He theoretically, though, should be stronger in just having those three than the entirety of Kona Hall. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, those three alone, and unless Naruto figures out how to control Karma, really, uh, they have nobody in the same like, world as those three. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, uh, I enjoyed. <laughs> I had a good time reading this and I'm interested to see how this plays, pays off for Barto the uh, franchise.